Are you ready for a bombshell? Today, we're diving deep into the shocking world of superhero sagas, where not all heroes wear capes, but some do get the axe. Yes, you heard it right. She-Hulk Season 2 is off the table. But why did this happen? Was it the outcry of the fans or a twist in the Marvel Universe? We're unraveling the mystery behind the curtains of Disney's decisions and what this means for your favorite characters. She-Hulk Season 2, a show that promised to blend superhero action with legal drama, was something Marvel fans were curious about. The concept? A lawyer who happens to be a green, super-powered heroine dealing with the everyday challenges of her unique life. Sounds interesting, right? But here's the twist. Despite the buzz and the potential, the show was suddenly axed. Now, how did we find out about this? It wasn't through a grand announcement, but more of a subtle revelation. While some mourned the loss of what could have been a groundbreaking series, others felt like this was a decision long due. After all, the superhero genre is evolving, and not every experiment turns out to be a hit, and that's just the start. The cancellation of She-Hulk Season 2 was more than just a schedule change. It was a sign of shifting tides in the vast ocean of superhero storytelling. So, why did She-Hulk Season 2 not make the cut? Let's break it down. When we talk about a show bombing, we're usually looking at a few key factors. Viewer numbers, how critics felt about it, and crucially, what the fans thought. For She-Hulk, the numbers just weren't there. Compared to heavy hitters in the Marvel lineup like Loki, or the web-slinging success of Spider-Man, no Way Home? She-Hulk didn't quite capture that magic, but it wasn't just about numbers. Critics, who usually have a lot to say about superhero flicks, weren't singing praises this time around. The show struggled to find its footing, both in narrative and in capturing that unique Marvel charm that fans love. Speaking of fans, their voice played a big role here. Marvel's fanbase isn't just large, it's vocal. When they speak, studios listen. And this time, the message was clear. She-Hulk wasn't hitting the mark. Feedback ranged from story critiques to character development issues, signaling to Disney that maybe it was time to rethink this green giant's path. This decision by Disney wasn't made in a vacuum. It reflects a broader trend where viewer engagement and satisfaction are becoming as important as any other metric. In the world of streaming and instant feedback, shows can't just be good. They need to resonate with their audience. She-Hulk unfortunately missed that mark, leading to its cancellation. What's particularly interesting here is the recent shuffle in Disney's leadership. Remember, these are the folks steering the ship of one of the largest entertainment fleets in the world. When Bob Chapek took over from Bob Iger, there were bound to be some changes in how things were run. This included a fresh take on the Marvel Universe. The change in leadership and the subsequent decisions reflect a broader strategy, how to keep a universe as vast and beloved as Marvel fresh, exciting, and profitable. It's a balancing act, and with She-Hulk, it seems Disney decided the scales were tipping the wrong way. But this isn't just a story of cancellation. It's a lesson in the dynamic world of entertainment, where even the best laid plans can change at a moment's notice. So what's next for Disney and Marvel? With She-Hulk, the feedback ranged from mild disappointment to outright frustration. It's not just about not liking a show. It's about what that show represents in the larger Marvel universe. Fans felt that recent projects weren't just missing the mark. They were straying from the essence of what made Marvel, well, Marvel. But here's where it gets interesting. The fan-blaming versus fan-praising narrative. When things go right, fans are the best thing since sliced bread. Their passion fuels success. But when things go south, suddenly, it's about toxic fandom. This dichotomy is at the heart of the conversation around She-Hulk and other recent Marvel projects. The question is, who really gets to take the credit or the blame for success and failure? What about the other characters waiting in the Marvel wings? Think Moon Knight, Monica Rambeau. They've got potential, but their success hinges on how well their stories are told. For She-Hulk, a comeback might be tough, but not impossible. Marvel now faces the challenge of revitalizing these characters, ensuring they don't just exist, but thrive in the MCU. The key? Marvel might need to focus more on individual character arcs and less on overarching complexities. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.